Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R6515. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on network cards. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R6515. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. Uh, this video is specifically dedicated to network cards, as we mentioned. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna talk about the uh, two different types of network cards that you can use, which are gonna be the uh, mezzanine card and a PCIe card. And we're gonna show you a little bit more about that here shortly. We're going to talk about the different interfaces you can use, the different speeds. Then we're gonna put up a list at the very, very end of the different types of compatible cards. And I'm sure there's some other compatible cards that if you have one that you like, drop a comment down below, let the other users know, but it'll be a very nice list overall of cards that are compatible with the 6515. And then we're actually gonna install both types of cards. So let's just go ahead and hop into the good stuff. So what are the different types of compatible interfaces? Well, you have RJ45, SFP, SFP+, SFP28, QSFP, and QSFP56. So those will be your compatible interfaces. So what are the different speeds? Well, you have one gigabit, eight, 10, 16, 25, 32, 40, or all the way up to 100 gigabits. So there's a wide range of speeds. And we have on our website, if you look at it, uh, all the different options, or not all, but a bunch of different good options for you. So that if you want a 100 gigabit card, you can just go grab it from there and we'll be able to ship it out overnight if needed. So now let's go ahead and show you how to install both types of cards. All right, I have my EST gear on. All we're gonna need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Let's go ahead and install both types. So the mezzanine card is very similar to the uh, network daughter card that you might have seen in some of the past generations. So we are going to remove our riser. And this is actually already undone. So we can just pull this right up. And after we pull this up, we're gonna need to remove these two screws. All right, after we remove the two screws, we're gonna come and put our card in. So these two holes are gonna line up here. And most importantly, we need to make sure that we get our interface perfectly positioned. So that's the first thing that we're gonna do. There we go. And this will line up right here. All right, so once you get the interface in, you're gonna wanna line these two holes up with these blue pegs. And the blue pegs are clipped, so you will need to push down a little bit so that it clips over it. And once you get these clipped in, you can just screw this down nice and easy. And that is how you would install your mezzanine card. So if you were going to install your PCIe, make sure you have a low profile bracket. I recommend using riser one if you don't have, um, if you haven't used a riser yet, especially because riser two could be used for RAID if needed, if you have many mono, not as big a deal. So we're just gonna remove our blue clip, just pull this out, grab our card. You're gonna have four points that are important to line up. The first one being the PCB is gonna slide down the black plastic right here. Then you're gonna put your two leads in and make sure that this tip lines up with this hole right there. So let's go ahead and get the process started. We'll start with the black PCB at the top, get that in and just kind of work its way down. You'll see the leads will connect. This is flush with the hole and you just pop it in and make sure that you don't see the leads at all anymore, that it's firmly in there. We lock our blue, blue piece of plastic and it's good to go. And now we're just gonna simply reinstall our riser. So just come over here. One thing I like to note is you have the pegs to line up and the screw hole right here. So that's how we're gonna line everything up. It'll just come straight down. And then you will go ahead and then just screw this back down. 
and we have officially installed uh, both types of network cards. And another good point to note is you can run both types. If you wanna have two network cards in here plus the uh, the mezzanine card, you could have three network cards if you really wanted to. Uh, that is an option, so you, it isn't that you have to use one or the other. I do recommend uh, making sure that you use the mezzanine card just because there is a carved out dedicated space for it, and then you can add some additional cards, uh, but again, you can use both if wanted. So if you made it this far, hey, click that like smash that subscribe and we will put up uh, right after this a uh, a chart for you of all the different uh, types of compatible cards before we fade out and if you're looking for any custom built servers dell hpe supermicro ibm cisco we would love the opportunity to earn your data center or your home labs business please email us at sales at cloud that's sales at cloud take care guys thanks for stopping by